So there's been a lot of talk recently about UEFI Secure Boot. Uh, for those who don't know, UEFI is a replacement for the ancient BIOS system for booting PCs. Um, it does more stuff, like it can recognize drives over two terabytes. Anyway, the, the point is Secure Boot is a new thing that's supposed to add more security to your system boot process so you don't have random unexpected things being loaded at boot time and there are uh, people talking about it as a secret means to prevent the booting of free software uh, such as Linux uh, on uh, hardware that supports secure boot. So I want to demonstrate what happens on real hardware, this being a Lenovo X230 when faced with secure boot. Um, so as you can see here, secure boot is enabled. And if I go over here, you can see uh, UFI only boot uh, with secure boot. So I will hit exit saving changes and you will see what happens when it tries to boot. And what happens is da, 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 da. uneventfully it brings up Ubuntu. So this is Ubuntu 12.10, you need to be running a recent enough version of your OS for it to work, but as you can see, it just works. It's indistinguishable from non-secure uh, boot. It, it just behaves normally to the end user. And this is what is supposed to happen with uh, properly implemented hardware. So uh, some hardware is just badly implemented uh, the Lenovo Think Center M92P has recently gotten a lot of flack because it will only boot Windows or a non-existent version of Red Hat. Uh, but this is what's supposed to happen. So the next question is what happens if you want to run dual boot uh, with secure boot still enabled? So I will show you what happens by restarting. So when this goes back to the Lenovo startup screen, I'm going to hit F12 to bring up the boot device screen as well as listing things like attached USB drives, CD drives, whatever, it'll also list every installed UEFI application. And there are two UEFI applications on this system. One of them is called Ubuntu, and it just loads into Grub. The other is called Windows Boot Manager, and it will just load into Windows. So as you can see, Ubuntu is alphabetically first, and is the first one that gets booted by default. The other one here is Windows Boot Manager, and if I select this, it will, after a couple of seconds of thinking about it, load up. Ooh. There we go. Windows 8 with Secure Boot enabled. Uh, Ubuntu 12.10 with Secure Boot enabled. Indistinguishable for the end user on properly implemented hardware. So the point here is if you can't get this stuff working it's not a conspiracy it means your hardware is shit and you should probably avoid it uh complain to the manufacturer take it back as unfit for purpose whatever but this is not a conspiracy to stop you running linux on your computer